In Pit Lane is proudly brought to you by Dino Tech by Dino Dynamics. For your nearest workshop, visit our website. And with the support of the Ramada Resort, Phillip Island. Well, getting started in motorsport isn't easy and it's certainly not cheap, but if you're going to get involved, then sprint racing might be for you. In a, comp in a competition where the main competitor is the clock and not other drivers, sprint racing provides an opportunity for pretty much anyone to get involved. The Victorian Super Sprint Series recently ran at Sandown, and while the event attracted mostly road-registered cars, there were some full-on race cars as well, one of them looking just a little out of place. Go to a round of the Victorian Super Sprint Series, like the one at Sandown last Sunday, and you never know what you might find. Yes, you'd expect to find this, or this, or, or perhaps even this. But this Pontiac looks like it'd be more at home at Darlington or Daytona than Dandenong Road. 2000 model Pontiac tra uh, Grand Am, or Grand Prix, um, LS1, Jericho gearbox, Tiger quick change diff, straight out of the States as it is. So, the first look, first look I thought, oh, here's an old Thunderdome car, but it's not, as you say, a new car. Um, and it's interesting, these cars have been converted specifically for road use. Yeah, this car was converted in Atlanta to do GTA road course racing, um, straight into Australia, set up for my body weight and on the track and going. So, is it a cost affordable way to go racing at this level? $25,000 on your doorstep, the whole car, ready to go. So, nothing else to spend except for fuel. So apart from sprint racing, I mean, is there any category that you could run it in or is it purely just for this level of racing? No, no, there's a series running at, at, at the moment in uh, New South Wales at Wakefield and at Winton Park, Stock Cars Australia. Race four times a year uh, and there's about 11 of us race these stock cars in that series. The car's no slouch and while the fastest time of the day was taken out by the west of Peter Mackey, the Pontiac was a respectable fourth overall. Uh, 121's the best I've done today. I've had a pretty rough day today, had a few things go wrong, but we'll see how we go this afternoon. And I was second in the series at, at Phillip Island a couple of weeks ago. That's pretty respectable around here. I mean, that's the sort of times a lot of the top uh, local sports sedans are doing, so clearly it's a very quick car. Yeah, it's a quick car and handles well, and it's well set up, so you know, anyone can drive. As long as you can steer it and make it go around the cat course, it'll go. So what's the reaction from the scrutineers when you bring this out? It's something that they wouldn't have seen before. I imagine that this would give conniptions to some of the old boys at Cams. Some of the scrutineers go, why me, as soon as they see it. But it, it passes everything. It's got everything in it. It's a built race car. It, there's nothing it doesn't have. The Super Sprint's considered the first rung on the ladder of State Series racing and attracted a diverse field of over 80 cars. The next round of the six round series will be back at Sandown on the 8th of June and you don't need a NASCAR to enter. But geez, it'll be an awful lot of fun though.